Hi, I'm Lucas Ordóñez. Uh, I'm 26 years old from Madrid, Spain, and I'm the first GT Academy winner. Uh, you know, uh, nearly four years ago, I, I won GT Academy, and uh, it's been uh, a dream for me, you know, to be the GT Academy winner, uh, achieving really good results for for the brand for Nissan, and and now working really well this this weekend with the, all the all the gamers lineup and, and I'm really proud to be here with them and, and to achieve a good result for them. Hola, me llamo Lucas Ordóñez, tengo 26 años, soy de Madrid, de España y, y nada, soy el primer eh, ganador de GTA Academy y que lo gané en 2008 y, y bueno, eh, como sabéis, eh, desde hace cuatro años soy piloto profesional y mis mejores resultados pues han sido el subcampeonato del GT4 en, en 2009, el Campeonato del Mundo de, de Prototipos en, en 2011, con victoria incluida en, en China, y también eh, el más importante de todos, mi segundo puesto en las 24 horas de Le Mans en 2011, que fue todo, todo un sueño hecho realidad de estar en esa carrera por primera vez y, y más en el podium en, 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 el, en el primer año que, que compito. ¿no? Eh, esto es un éxito, estoy muy contento ahora de, de estar aquí en Dubai con todos los ganadores de GTA Academy y nada, trabajando duro para conseguir un gran resultado para, para Nissan, para GTA Academy y, y para lo, todos nos, nosotros. Hi, my name is Joan Tresson, I'm 23 years old and I'm from France. I'm the second winner of GTA Academy, so I won in 2010. And so now I'm racing with Nissan uh, all around Europe and uh, also here in Dubai 24 hours. And this season I was still racing with Argent Motorsports on the Nissan 370Z GT4. And uh, we won the Blanc Pain Endurance Series. And uh, so it was a five race series. We won Spot 24 hours, which was a major achi achievement. We raced each other online a bit. So now it's nice to, to, to race together on the same car. It's quite funny though to think about this, but uh, you know, we are all now real drivers and not players anymore. So we are real teammates in a real race. Uh, donc, euh, bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Jordan Tresson, j'ai 23 ans. J'ai gagné la GT Academy en 2010, donc je suis le, le, le deuxième vainqueur. Et aujourd'hui, je roule avec euh, Nissan et, et PlayStation euh, partout en, en Europe et euh, on est ici à, à Dubaï pour les 24 heures. Donc en 2010, j'ai commencé par, euh, par une quatrième place en GT4 European Cup. Euh, C'était une bonne première année. Euh, deux podiums à la clé, une deuxième et une troisième place. Et donc cette année, je roulais encore avec, euh, avec Nissan et le RGN Motorsport dans une 370Z GT4. En blanc pas endurance série, donc c'était une série de, de cinq courses. On a gagné le 24 de Spa, donc ce qui est quand même un événement majeur. Et ensuite euh, à Manicourt euh, en France donc. Et donc finalement, on a, on a fini premier au championnat. Donc c'était vraiment une très bonne saison. Et maintenant, je suis à Dubaï avec, euh, avec Yann, Brian et Lucas pour un équipage 100% de Academy. Et on verra bien ce qu'on peut faire pendant, pendant cette course. Hi, I'm Brian Highcarter. I'm the first US GT Academy winner. And I'm here at Dubai. I just finished practice today. Uh, things are looking good so far. Yeah, it's very special to have an all gamer turned racer team. Uh, we all, you know, we came from the same background of, of racing on Gran Turismo. And uh, it's just really cool to be able to kind of share that unique experience and that, that unusual way of getting into motorsport. Well, I guess the, the most memorable part for me was uh, when I won the race to win the GT Academy itself at Silverstone. I mean, that was, you know, the moment where my life changed forever, basically. And I mean, that moment was just unbelievable. I'm Jan Mardibra. I'm 20 years old. I currently live in Cardiff and um, I'm the third European GT Academy winner since winning GT Academy. I've been to seven different uh, countries. I've raced abroad in Zandvoort and Holland. Raced up and down the country to gain my international sea license, which makes me eligible to race in the Dubai 24 hour race. And uh, yeah, I've just had the time of my life um, working with RGM Motorsports, um, racing their 3, 370Zs, uh, GT4 and SP8 class. It's just been fantastic. Um, winning GT Academy, uh, it was fantastic. Standing on your podium at uh, Silverstone with uh, Eddie Irvine congratulating me, giving me champagne and a trophy it was just like the most amazing time ever. It, it, it was the best moment of my life by far. And um, since then, I've just been on a whirlwind course of uh, driver, driver development course to uh, 
bring me up to standard, bring me to in and out of the car, up to the standard that uh, Silverstone and Nissan, uh, GT Academy and Sony want me to be, to be able to race in Dubai. Look at this bit of the sea in. Yeah, I think it's an incredibly good opportunity for them to race, and especially here at Dubai, um, at this circuit, and with the Nissan 377. I suppose the whole concept of GT Academy, of taking a PlayStation gamer through to being a professional racing driver, was always, there was a fine line between, is this kind of a work of fiction, or is it going to actually, are we actually going to do it? And it was part of my job to make it happen. Uh, we took the selection process really bloody seriously, really seriously, you know? The winner could have been killed and I need to stand up and talk to his family and say, look, he deserved his place there. So it was a serious selection and training process. So no, I've been, I've been a believer from the start and the guys we've chosen have done a really, really good job.